More. A little bit more if you can. More. That's perfect. That is perfect. All right, so we'll start. And I will edit. So if we make a mistake, I can go back. But I, I try to do it all in one take, and it's going to be about 10, 15 minutes. OK. All right. Hello, and welcome back to the Italian Go. <laughs> I'll start again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Hello and welcome back to the Italian Book Club. This is Etrude Mace here in Wellington, New Zealand. And today I have yet another fascinating author by the name of Kathy Goodhart. Kathy, welcome to the Italian Book Club. Thank you, Gertrude. I'm so I'm very well, I'm very excited to be here and share uh, some information about my latest book and I'm also very excited to be speaking with you today. Awesome. So tell me what is the title of the new book, Kathy? My new book is called Lemonade and I wrote the book and chose the title because when life gives you lemons, why not make some lemonade? And so wow. it's 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 a really interesting book and it really gets to people's heart and soul about reorganizing their life and looking at their life as a big picture and figuring out what their prosperity consciousness is so that they can have total abundance in their life. Fantastic. So tell me what exactly inspired you to write this particular book because I know that you've already published um, one book before. Um, tell us a little bit about the first book before you tell me what inspired you to write the second book. Oh, oh, absolutely. Well, the first book that I wrote was is well, it is called GPS for the Mind, Body, and Soul. And on your journey, sometimes you receive incomplete directions. And that book is focused on rebalancing your life and looking at your life in segments and saying, you know, what part of my life really isn't working? What part of my life would I like to do better? And what would I also like to summons the universe to give me in my life? So that's what that book was about. The second book that I've written, Lemonade, is more an in-depth look at what really sings to your soul. I believe that prosperity is um, peace of mind, health of body, money to share and to spare, and harmonious relationships. So those are the things that I've touched on in Lemonade. And the title came to me because I do teach a lot of prosperity and abundance workshops. And we always joke in the class that, you know, we, we should just picture ourselves always just sitting on a porch somewhere, one of those beautiful swings, drinking a nice glass of lemonade. I mean, what is nicer than that on a beautiful day? And just enjoying and embracing life, enjoying and embracing who we are as people, what our God-given talents are. And once we tap into our soul, we become unstoppable because that passion just oozes through our veins, through every cell of our body. And we become ignited with excitement about life. And we no longer are those kind of people that are not really sure about where we're going and what we're doing. Every day is an adventure. Every day becomes part of our glorious journey. And I also believe that life is a series of milliseconds. And it's up to us to decide how are we going to string those milliseconds together. And we don't know how long we have in this physical body, as we're all spiritual beings. But as long as we walk this planet at this time in this physical body, how are you going to embrace your soul? And once you embrace your soul, life does become that glorious journey. And that's what I wish for everybody that reads the book. So, Kathy, what I'm hearing basically is that you have a very interesting uh, philosophy about life, uh, really basically taking the bitter and the sweet and making the most of it, making lemonade out of things that can go wrong and things will go wrong in life. It's just how you respond to those things, correct? That is absolutely correct. And one of my things that I truly believe is we are given the good and the bad because if we were all given just good how would we recognize that it was good so okay. we're given the you bad so we know that we don't want that we know yes. that we want the opposite which is the good stuff and to have so the abundance we have to be grateful for that as well 
Okay. So tell me, um, have you based this book on personal experience? Um, where did this information come from? Um, absolutely. I, I really believe that my personal journey, you know, started obviously when I, the day I was born. And I've had so many wonderful experiences with people. My background's in nursing. I'm a registered nurse. I've also been very involved in the fitness and dance profession for a long time. And I teach yoga and, and lead meditation classes as well. So being able to see people in different settings, especially in that medical setting, and see what their mindset is about life, and see how we bring on the good, and we also attract the bad into our lives too, that yes. led me to this point. And as so, a nurse and someone <laughs> yeah. that's been around people, it's it's just been interesting to me. So I just you know I decided you know people need this. They need to really get this abundance. I also feel that this mission this divine order was given to me by God. Fantastic. It was something that I just woke up one day, I, I was in a deep meditation and I was going through a lot of personal things myself, personal growth and changes in life and, and things like that going on because life is always dynamic and I reached a point where I just felt compelled that this is my mission, that no matter what I'm going to help as many people as I can really embrace their lives until the day that I leave this planet. And I find it so <laughs> exciting and so rewarding to see someone's heart turned on to their soul and passion. It's an incredible thing to be part of. And I've also been able to use the information to help people change their mindset because what we know about the subconscious mind is if we tell our subconscious mind something long enough, it starts to believe it. So think yeah. about it. When we change our thoughts, we change our results because we can change our acts, actions. So, Kathy, can I stop you there for a minute? You tell me something. As a coach, um, you're really trying to give a holistic approach to solving life's problems with this book, correct? Um, I know that you coach. I know that you do yoga. You do a lot of meditation. Why is it important for people to have that balance? Well, it's absolutely important for people to have balance because I think people feel sometimes so out of control. If we look at all of the things that we do on a day now, it is so different than even 10 years ago with the way that we use communications, the way we have the internet, you know, cell phones. The world has gotten smaller because of the way we communicate, which is a fabulous thing. I mean, we're having this interview and, and you're over in New Zealand and I'm in Las Vegas, Nevada. So it's very exciting to me that this has happened. But as a result, I think people have just become so busy and so out of touch with who they are in pursuit of something perhaps that someone gave them the idea about. You know, if we look at our childhood, we knew exactly what we wanted to do, be, and have. But over the years, other people influenced us and we accepted their influence as fact and as truth and we acted out on that influence. So we've got a whole group of people on the planet doing things that they don't enjoy, not loving life, not taking time for themselves, and thinking it's all about one thing or another. And I really believe that you know work should be your passion. If you're going to put in all those hours, make it exciting for yourself. And what are you willing to give up to get what you really want? And the universe is like a genie lamp. What we ask for, we receive. And that's, yes. that's mentioned too in the book. You know, it's all about our mindset. And if we ask the so universe to say things like, you know, I can't find the right job, well, guess what? Boom, you can't find the right job. You know, yes. I don't have any good friends. Okay, boom, you don't get any good friends. Versus if we say, I have the perfect job, and I'm so excited every day to get up and go to work. Boom, perfect job, excited to get up and go to work. I have an abundance of beautiful, harmonious relationships. Guess what? Boom! The genie lamp responds. The universe responds. It's universal principle. It's also written in, in every spiritually based book, these universal principles, in one way or another. So when we ask and we're open and ready to receive in gratitude, the good stuff just keeps pouring and pouring. It's like the, 
the sky opens up and the abundance just keeps coming but we have to be willing to accept it and that's part of the journey because I believe that we have to be ready for it you know are if you're asking for a million dollars are you ready for that are you really ready do you know how to manage that do you know what you're gonna do with it what goodness are you gonna do with that million dollars or if you want a new home are you really Happy. ready to take care of it Happy. it's all about that abundance factor Happy. You, you, you have a very interesting philosophy in terms of um, how you live your life and I've, I've, I mean I've looked at how amazing you look personally. Every time I talk to you, you are jogging, you are fit, really of your mind, body and soul and I'm really glad that the Italian book club is out there promoting you. I believe that you'll be going to Italy in October, correct? That is absolutely correct, and I'm so looking forward to it. I mean, what a great experience to be able to meet all new people across the globe, and it's going to be fantastic. Awesome. So, Kathy, I will see you in Rome. Um, I'm pretty sure we're going to have an amazing time when we launch your book in um, Rome with the help of the Italian Book Club. So thank you so much for this interview. So this is Kathy's new book called Lemonade. She also has another book called GPS for the Soul. That's already on Amazon. And the new one should be coming out by the end of August. Thank you so much for the interview, Kathy. Thank you, Get Root, and I'll see you in Rome. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. Ciao. Okay.